And hello to you from the sunny south coast of England. Thank We're at the Amex Stadium today. and the weather has most certainly cooperated. Derek Ray here on the commentary box, joined as always by former England defender Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion up against West Bromwich Albion. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players how important it is to get off to a quick start here. Attack the game from the off, impose your game plan, and hopefully we get a good game. And the team selected for Brighton and Hove Albion. How would you sum up this formation, Lee? Well, 5-2-3, three, 3-4-3, three, three, lots of numbers. But the most important thing is the full-backs. They need to supply support to their centre-backs in defensive mode. But going forward, they have to supply some sort of support to the wide players who will try and provide the service for the lone striker. A look at the initial 11 for West Bromwich Albion. You know, many in the media have been talking quite loudly about their style of play and not everybody being kind about it. There are many who suggest it's negative. How do you see it, Lee? Well, listen, Derek, takes all types of play, different formations. Coaches try and adapt a system, soaking up the pressure, getting everybody behind the ball and hitting teams on the counter-attack. He's probably on the cards for this team today. And so the battle commences. Mopé. Now Lalana. And it's played into the centre. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Jake Livermore. Wonderfully weighted pass. Cross towards that far post. And the pass could do damage. Well, he strayed offside just as it looked promising. Jake Livermore. Grady Diangana. And he's taken it away. Now oh, showing excellent vision. Surely! An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, let's see the replay and look at the pace at which the counter-attack happens. But you do have to ask questions about the keeper. Could he have done better here? I think so. You can't keep getting beat at the near post like that. Well, the manager's showing signs of frustration. They need to improve if they're going to get something out of this game, Derek. One nil then. Goal for Brighton and Hove Albion. Number nine, Neil Mope. Gallagher. And here's Jake Livermore. Mope. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Lalana and fed forwards. Lalana. Can he do it? Well, a crucial intervention inside the box. And a throw in forthcoming.
Robinson. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. White. Mopé. A oh, terrific pass. He takes aim. But it wasn't a taxing save. Lalana. Chance to play it in. And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, the manager can't hide his disappointment in not extending the lead there. It's still on a knife edge. And now the delivery. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Mopé. Options in the middle. Opportunity. Excellent block. And there it is. A two-goal cushion now. And they just need to keep the concentration. Well, here's the replay, Jerry. And defenders must defend. They have plenty of time and opportunity to clear this ball. And they've really messed up here. Well, a second goal for them here. Gallagher. Krovinovic. On the ball, Livermore. Mateusz Pereira. Did well to win the ball back. Well, as we can see, Brighton certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession. And all of their team are enjoying this before. Is it going to be? And thumped away. Robinson. Krovinovic. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. The first half here comes to an end. Well, we're highlighting him for a reason. He's bossing the game and giving the defenders headaches, Lee. Well, Derek is what I used to call a pest. Never lets up, always asking questions of you as a defender. Questions you don't normally have the answer to. That's why he gets so many goals. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. And the referee spotted the foul, but has played advantage. Robinson. And here's Jake Livermore. He made it look simple, really. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Can they keep it going? Well, they seem to be onto something positive, but it faded away. He's going forward well here. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Now referring to the earlier infringement, the referee sees it as a bookable offence. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Callum Robinson to be replaced by number 15, Charlie Austin. Options in the centre. Bisuma. Lalana. Oh, tremendous block. 
Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They've delivered the goal. Well, here it is again. It's all about the pace in transition. They were so quick to get out from the back, and he had choices of what type of finish to apply. And bang, he goes for the smash. Lovely goal. So there we have it. 2-1. Champion goal, number 15, Charlie And Leslie. we're inside the final 30 minutes. Mopé. Wonderfully weighted pass. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. Townsend. Gallagher. Lalana. And a goal to really bolster things for them. Two in front. Well, we can take another look at this now, and he's connected so well with it, generating a lot of power, and the keeper just can't react in time, look. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Well, there's nothing better for a manager when a plan comes together. Total satisfaction. So there it is, 3-1 the current Champions scoreline Champions here. Champions goal! Number 14, Adam Lallana. Bisuma. Excellent vision. Gives it a go. A goal! And it seems they're truly cruising to victory here. Well, as we see this again, Derek, Bobby Charlton used to say, pass the ball into the net. And that's exactly what he did there. Really lovely finish. Well, the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, he's turning into a real shocker. This is the very reason, Derek, I'm not a manager. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Number 14, Adam Lallana. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. And they're making a change. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. Mopé. From so far away, it didn't appear to be the high percentage option. Close, though. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. Long-range effort, and it wasn't too far off, was it? Neil Mopé. Far from a good pass. Did well to win the ball back. Has the strength to hang on to it. Good tackle. Furlong. Mateusz Pereira. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? This attack looks highly promising. And played towards the near post. And there it is! A goal! 
But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, Derek, the cross is great, but just look how he tacks the space. Gives the defenders no chance. Great goal. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Tossard. Neil Mopé. And able to get a body in the way. Well, Derek, they're not happy. Ref is taking the brunt of this. Townsend. And there it is, the final whistle. Reasons to be cheerful for fans of the Seagulls around the world. Lee, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, when the lead was extended to a two-goal margin, you could almost hear the sigh of relief from their supporters and the manager too. Well, his performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Lee. Well, he never gave that back line a chance to get a breath. Two goals for the lad today. Played superbly well, looked really sharp. Constantly playing on the shoulder of the last defender. A real handful.